In this video, I show you how to make a large plate. I'm going to show you how to center large amounts of clay, unlimited amounts of clay, with the least effort, and then I'll create an open plate form. I've made many of these, up to half a meter in diameter. I get a little stuck and I show you how to make your own cutting wire. I show you how to trim the plate and then it's ready for firing and glazing. Anyway, as usual, there's something delicious at the end, so enjoy. Today I'm throwing a large plate. For this task, I'm throwing on a bat. A bat is a plate that fits over the wheel. I have different sizes of bat. I'm using a large bat for this plate. Because I'm using a couple of kilos of clay and my clay is on the firmer side, I'm centering my clay in two parts. This is a good technique for centering larger pieces of clay. You start with one piece of clay and center. And when it's centered, you add another piece of clay and center that. So round the top of one piece and then make sure that the bottom of the other piece is rounded as well and slam them together. That's it. And now center the top piece. And we're done. So you can add many pieces of clay and center really large amounts of clay in this way. Now that we have the clay centered, I want to push the clay out wide, nearly out to the diameter of the plate. And now I'm opening out. Now to open out here, you can use the heel of your hand. You can use the side of your hand. Or you can use your fingers. Whatever feels right. Keep plenty of clay in the base. You'll need a little more than you think. When you wire through the base, you'll inevitably wire through some of the clay. Compress and smooth the base carefully. Take your time. This will help prevent your plates from cracking. When you think about it, with a wide shape like this, there's a lot of stress placed on your plate as it dries and as it's fired. Now pull up the walls. I just want short walls for this serving plate. Shape the walls a little. And then a final finishing of the top. Compress the top a little, refine the rim. Okay, now I'm ready to wire through. Oops, mega fail. My cutting wire is not long enough. So I'm going to have to go and make myself a longer cutting wire. So hang on a few seconds. Okay, here's a super quick way to make a very fine cutting wire, and that's all I need. So when I make my cutting wires, I take two buttons and I use some tiger tail, which is like a nylon coated wire. It's very flexible and doesn't tangle easily, which is great. Just cut to length and tie a couple of buttons on the ends. Okay, so now we're ready to wire through the base. 
when you wire through the base, you want to make sure that you're holding the wire super taut and flat against the bat in this case. So now it's time to let the plate dry. And so after half a day, my plate is actually ready to trim. I'm going to use my GIF and grip and I flip those little um, holders around and use them from the inside to hold the plate in place. Very gently open those little jiggers outwards until your plate is secure. Oh yeah, that feels centered. Pretty good and secure. So now I'm taking my trimming tool and I'm going to start trimming from the inside to the outer edge. Now, as I do this, I'm just very slowly bringing the trimming tool towards me. And I can see the concentric cir circle or spiral is very even. Trim a little on the outer edge. So there's really not much doing here. It's really about tidying up. Once again, this is a super efficient shape to make. And a shape I've made many times. I made a supersized version of these that fired to 50 centimeters across. I've made these for cafes and catering companies. So now I'm ready to do some smoothing. So this is quite a gritty stoneware. It looks great when fired as the grit adds a speckle and some character. However, it can be a little rough if you don't smooth the clay well. And this is particularly important for the base of a pot that will sit on a table or counter. So I'm going to smooth and compress the clay using my favorite flexible rib. So this is starting to feel pretty smooth. And a final smoothing, and I think we're good to go. So while I was making this plate, this is what I had in mind in terms of serving. One of my most favorite desserts. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I know they're lots of fun to make. If you find them useful, please subscribe to this channel. It's much appreciated. Hit the like button and as always, feel free to comment or make suggestions below. Thanks for watching and as always, happy potting.